Um, it does baffle almost everybody, parents, childcare providers, us, that something would be titled free when, frankly, it's not because uh, many nurseries are saying it's going to cost them money to provide these so-called free hours. Why are you misleading everybody? Well, the reason I'm in York today is that this is one of the areas that we piloted this uh, a year ago. And uh, despite some initial reservations from some of the nurseries, 100% of the providers here are delivering 30 hours. And we've had 15,000 children already uh, benefiting from 30 hours. This is the deadline uh, for September starters. And there'll be another deadline uh, in January for those who turn three uh, in the new year. But in the independent evaluation of that pilot scheme you're talking about, one provider running a nursery in York said this. What the government isn't telling you is virtually every nursery has been charging for additional services to make ends meet, which we never did before. The vast majority can't do it without, uh, with the funding that they're getting. So the unspoken truth is that they're charging at an inflated rate for additional services, i.e. nappies, food, trips, the sort of things that usually come with what you pay for for childcare. So essentially, even the people you're talking about are saying you're not telling the truth. Well, a survey that's uh, coming out today, an independent survey, indicates that 80% of the nurseries that are providing the 15 hours already are prepared to provide the 30 hours. And, of course, it is possible to charge for additional hours for things like nappies, trips, music lessons and lunch. But that couldn't be, shouldn't be a prerequisite to the uh, f uh, additional 15 hours that are provided under this scheme. As I say, we've been piloting this for a year. It's, it's gone very well indeed up and down the country, places like Northumberland, York, uh, all over the country, and, and indeed 200,000 thousand parents have registered uh, online and will be uh, accessing childcare uh, in September. So you reckon at 20 percent, one in five of providers not providing the service is, is good? That's a result, do you? Well, they're, they're saying that uh, they uh, aren't necessarily going to do that. The experience here in York is that all the providers did provide. In Northumberland, a different area, all the providers there provided. And we've done extensive work looking at the actual cost of delivering childcare. We put additional money in. This is funded with a billion pounds by 2020. Yeah, but it's still not enough. There's no point in saying the it's a billion when like they needed one and a half billion, is it? So, I mean, it means, Minister, you are either no, no, deluded I mean... or deceptive over this. No, no, we've done extensive work looking at the actual cost of delivering childcare. And indeed, in this uh, nursery here, which are delivering additional places in response to this, uh, their cost at the moment is less than, the, than what we're charging them. So, so they are very keen to get engaged. Minister. We have nurseries up and down the country extending their places. If I can give you one example, I mean, the Busy Bees Nursery Group that have 267 nurses up and down the country, the cooperative uh, childcare group, they are uh, keen to deliver okay. for the prices that we're given. But so there may be a few it? nurseries for specific reasons. Why is is it that just a couple of years ago that Sam Gimia, the early years minister then, a, a Tory, a Conservative, said this to, in evidence to the House of Lords, the increased cost of this is quite enormous, going from something like 15 hours to 25 hours, not the 30 that you're saying, would cost an extra £1.5 billion at least. That comes from your own party, in evidence. He's saying it costs half a billion extra. You're now saying you can provide more hours on less money. It simply does not calculate. Well, we've piloted it in 12 areas up and down the country, including York, and it has worked here. The funding that we put in has delivered the places. We've had 15,000 chil 15, children already uh, being delivered 30 hours, and we're confident that we can deliver it up and down the country. Lots of nurses are extending. I was in a nursery in East Yorkshire recently. They're extending to provide more places. So it's up to the industry to step up to the mark. We also have 5,500 dormant childminders. People can use this to access childcare through childminders. But we've there are 10,000 uh, childminders who've come out of the business. I mean, but it's, uh, many businesses, and we had the uh, Neil Leach on earlier. In fact, we've got a clip of him, and this is what he wanted to say to you. It's a farce at this particular point in time. It's a recipe for disaster, and if, unless we get adequate funding, this is going to fall over, and parents will not get the deal that government offered. So can he go whistle for it? Is he going to get adequate funding? 
Well, we believe the funding is adequate, and as I say, we have piloted it. We put additional money in, additional £300 million to respond to those who were concerned about the levels of funding. And as I say, nurseries like this are already delivering at the levels of funding that we're providing. The pilot areas up and down the country are success successfully delivering. We have 200,000 parents who have yes, already okay. registered. Uh, many of them have already secured places, and others yes. will. So we're You've confident this scheme point. will be delivered. All and right. indeed, whilst there, are few, while there are a few nurses who may feel that they can't deliver at the prices we're given the vast majority of the industry including the big chains are up for it and they're going to be delivering for those parents this is worth five thousand pounds well, per child this is a great fillet for working families to okay, enable Robert them to Goodwill. take thank on you. more hours for people not in work that to go into is work your story and thank you for telling it there are many people who are saying that that is not their very experience of it but thank you very much for putting your points forward this morning